It's terrific riding. Uh, let's go back to the podium as uh, Tom Danielson comes on the stage winner. He joins uh, Jakob Fuglsang, who was third, and uh, Damiano Caruso, who has finished second. A little memory there of uh, the independence pass, I would think, for uh, Tom Danielson. He's going to be very, very happy with that victory today because to win the way he did, Phil, on your own is a very special thing to do. So congratulations all round there. Tom Danielson really worked hard for the victory today. He tried to get yellow, but a tremendous result for him. And uh, as we look out across the Rocky Mountains here around Colorado, we'll just uh, see he's got his... Ah, oh, Tom, here. Tom's just been caught by Bob Roll behind the podium. Let's go back to Bob. Tommy, the long breakaway almost always gets caught. What was going through your mind in the, in the closing miles when the peloton was breathing down your neck? Oh, that was just nasty. I mean, uh, going over the top with like two minutes, 40 or two minutes, I don't know what it was. I was like, okay, this is going to be difficult. I was hoping for tailwind. I'm like, please tailwind. And uh, I was headwind. And I'm uh, 61 kilos headwind by myself. I had a couple corners I could dice it. I was hoping for rain. I was like, thunderstorm, hail, something, please. And uh, just a big headwind. So I had to really grit it out. I had to think of my wife, Stephanie. I had to think of my baby, Stevie D. I had to think of Stella. I had to think of everyone out there. And I was just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this race. You know, like, I haven't won a race, like, properly since 2005, Tour of Georgia, top of Brasstown Ball, or 2006 or something. I was like, I'm going to win this thing. And I'm proud. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget.